Good video, Phil. Um, I'm actually not too surprised about uh, ACTA because I know how the government works or I know how the governmental system works or the authority system works and it, it will do anything to increase its power. And we'll do this constantly, continually because the government system, the authority system has its own nature. It's a near sentient being. And I say this because of the fact sentient beings run this. Essentially, it's being designed to outlast people and rule law. And this is exactly what the government wants from people. It is for, well, what the government really wants from people is for people to live and die under this rule of law without causing any trouble for it. But more than that, the government needs to outlast the people under this rule of law because any government that doesn't do that is a worthless one. And its existence is actually tied in largely with, you know, continuation. Continuation? Is that a word? Probably not a word. Continuing, let's say continuing, because it's very much so concerned, concerned with continuing. But yeah, but the reason is that people are sentient, we're different, we're fickle, <laughs> we change our minds, and uh, we come to different positions and different points about, yeah, this is important to us now, and that was important to us then, and you know, maybe we want to change like this, and maybe we want to change like that, and the government understands this, and this is why the government tries to stop it, because of the fact that it doesn't want anything like that. The government wants to do three things to increase the probability of this continuation. And that is, eliminates gray areas and X factors, increases its power, and uh, increases the area to which it governs. It eliminates X factors and gray areas because of the fact that X factors like Martin Luther King, a person that will bring about change. Because if a government has to go through a large amount of change, chances are, or there is a chance, that it will not actually work out for the government itself. It won't last. So the government fights change as much as it can. It wants to be able to control the situation to its best ability, and also it doesn't like change because of the fact that change might mean changing the system itself. And the system wants to be able to stay the way it is to understand how things work, how things will continue to work. The government's job is to a certain degree the authority system, I don't want to say its job, but the authority system's nature is to turn humanity into a well-oiled machine. And humanity's job, or what its job should be, is to make sure that that shit never fucking happens. Seriously. That's what it should be. Because what the government really wants from people, or is for certain people, or for the people it governs, is ignorance. The government wants it. I know I'm jumping around, but the government wants ignorance from the people under its rule of law. Now, why you may be asking, does the government want ignorance from the people under its rule of law? Because blind, ignorant people will generally follow you to whatever means or to whatever ends that you really want them to follow you to because they're fucking ignorant. So the government wants the population to be ignorant and stupid because the more the population is ignorant and stupid, the more shit the government can get away with. And what is the shit the government is getting away with from these ignorant and stupid people? Increasing its power, increasing the area to which it governs. So why is it doing this? Because of the fact that the government wants to know you. You on a very personal basis. Why does government want to know you on a very personal basis? And the, Because of the fact that you're special. I'm kind of lying. I'm kind of not. I'm kind of joking. I'm kind of not. Uh, the government really wants to know you. It wants to know your tendencies, your tendencies, your thoughts, your understandings, your perspectives, your lifestyle, your choices, your decisions. It wants to know all this stuff. Why does it want to know this, you may be asking? Because of the fact that the more information the government has on you, how you interact, how you think, how you react, the better a profile it can gain, a, the better profile it can have about you. And the better profile it can have about you can say whether or not you're going to go along with the government's rules of law or if you're not. Or if you're not. And the people that don't go along with the government's rule of law, the government wants to be able to identify these people as early as possible in order to do one of two things. To try to get them thrown in prison, or to try to make laws to inhibit these people from actually doing certain actions that increase thought or increase change or the possibility of change within the system itself. So yeah. And what else does it do? Increase the area to which it governs. Uh, yeah, it increases the area to which it governs because of the fact it wants it wants more control of your life. It wants to say, I'm going to draw this line, this line in the sand, and if you don't like it, you can screw off. But if you take a, you know, if you don't like it, you screw off. But if you take a step over that fucking line, I'm going to throw you in prison. And if you don't like that, well, deal with it. Because we don't have a real, re well, I'm not going to go on that tangent. But, yeah, the government wants to be able to draw lines in the sand all fucking around you to pretty much say you can't step over here, can't step over here, can't step over here. Because if it does that, and it can do that, then the amount of people... Hold on, give me two seconds. I'm kind of losing my train of thought. Because the more lines in the sand the government can draw, the better ability it has to counteract change or the fight change. If the government can eventually, the, the eventual thing that the government wants to come to or the eventual power it wants to hold and have 
is to pretty much draw li draw enough lines in the sand to which people can never take a step over line to actually change or affect the government. That's what the government ultimate job is. And I think the government may actually have that power to pretty much say that I want to be able to draw enough lines in the sand that no one will ever be able to come near my power. That's what the government really wants. And it's 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 kind of getting there. And that's the reason that it's that's the reason you see stuff like ACTA and PIPA and SOPA come about. Because of the fact that it really is looking to gain enough power to literally control every aspect of our lives. Because of the fact, like I said, the government either wants to make ignorant people or make the people to who are not ignorant to make people who aren't ignorant compliant enough to which that they don't cause any change or trouble for the government itself. So yeah, that's what the government wants. I hope you guys understood this video. It makes sense. All this shit makes sense to me. I mean, I. It's just I'm not sure if it translates well. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any questions about what the fuck I just said, feel free to ask them. I will answer them to the best of my ability. So yeah, you guys have a good day and a good video, Phil. Deuces. There's a lot of information in there. <laughs> you guys have a good one.